Today we're going to talk about hypersensitivity. And hypersensitivity is the type of immune response uh, which involves the uh, following criteria. So, first of all, it involves antibodies and of course antigens and it involves other cells that are present in the immune system and it has um, specific appearance or specific features and as we'll see it's classified into four types so hypersensitivity um, a lot of people can refer to it as allergy and matter of fact uh, it's the first uh, one the first type of hypersensitivity is the allergic response so for example if uh, the uh, reaction is localized so local we can call it an allergy of um, to a certain uh, substance ingested or uh, inhaled or whatever if it's a local allergy if the reaction is global we can call it an anaphylaxis and all of us of course heard about the anaphylactic shock so th this is the first type of hypersensitivity um, so what kind of antibody is involved in such um, hypersensitivity we have IgE so IgE is the antibody which is um, responsible for or uh, that appears first in allergic reactions. In allergic reactions, the antibody involved is IgE. And IgE is a monomer. So the uh, antibody usually looks like this. So this is a monomer antibody and this is how IgE looks like. Um, the allergic response, relatively speaking to the other uh, types of hypersensitivity, would uh, require a short amount of time, so 15 to 30 minutes. And the cells involved would have basophils. So basophils and eosinophils. Basophils and eosinophils will be uh, integrated in such a reaction. <clears throat> we have also uh, cells that are very, very similar to basophils, which are called mast cells. But the only difference between basophils and mast cells is that basophils are found in the bloodstream, while mast cells are um, situated in the tissues. The appearance of um, that type of hypersensitivity, the first type of hypersensitivity, is called wheel and flare. So uh, it looks something like this, like there is a local uh, redness of skin with a little bit of swelling and it's radiating around. Um, so this is the first type of hypersensitivity. The second type of hypersensitivity involves other two types of antibodies. We have IgG and IgM. IgG is also a monomer so it looks like IgE, while well, IgM is a pentamer. So it's a large molecule. It looks like this. And uh, IgM is, the, is in the front line, so it's the uh, very first antibody produced in case of inflammation. Now, what does this type of hypersensitivity look like? First off, the cells that are involved in such type of hypersensitivity are the cells which are expressing the antigens. So we have antigens on the surface of the cells. 
For example, red blood cells. Red blood cells express antigens, let's say like the B antigens. And uh, so we have the B antigen on the red blood cell and at the same time in the bloodstream we have the antibody of the different types. So we have antibody A and antigen B. If we have antibody B with this kind of antigen they will bind with each other and what happens later, so it will bind this is uh, antigen uh, B and antibody A, they will bind to each other and they would activate something called the complement. The complement is a sequence of proteins they activate each other in an arranged sequence at the end they form something called the membrane attack complex from the name MAC membrane attack complex what that complex does is that it attacks the membrane it breaks down the membrane or what we scientifically called uh, lysis so in this case we would have hemolysis and the red blood cells are broken down or damaged so we would see such um, a reaction in the case of blood transfusion, let's say. Blood transfusion. Um, the appearance would be, of course, so we have lysis and necrosis because this would lead to tissue damage. And um, the cells involved, as we mentioned, so we have antigen antibody complex and we would have the complement although these are not cells but this is uh, the part which is involved with the cells that are expressing the antigens so the cells involved are the cells expressing the antigens the response would uh, be a little bit longer than um, the first type of hypersensitivity so, so we would have from minutes to um, an hour so this is the second type of hypersensitivity